In 1985, St. John's and Georgetown played an epic series, meeting twice in conference play, in the Big East Tournament title game, and at the Final Four. Every matchup was a top five showdown that featured the nation's number one ranked team at the time. The headliners for those main events were some of college basketball's biggest personalities on the sidelines and two pillars of Big East troops on the court, Chris Mullen and Patrick Ewing. We start on January 26th. St. John's claimed round one in D.C. with a 66-65 win at Georgetown to knock off the top-ranked Hoyas. With Chris Mullen and Walter Berry combining for 34, the Johnny snapped what was a 29-game winning streak for Georgetown. Just over a month later, on February 28, 1985, St. John's and Georgetown met again. The drama at the world's most famous arena came before even the tip arrived, though, with sweaters as the story. In terms of the game, it was the seven-footer Patrick Ewing who led the way for a big win. 20 points, six blocks, and the Hoyas rolled 85-69. It was only fitting that these two teams met again for the Big East Tournament title on Saturday, March 9th. Offense was the story, but Ewing led the way to a 92-80 victory for the Hoyas, giving Georgetown their second straight tournament title. Arguably the greatest season in conference history continued with a Big East party in the Final Four. Georgetown, who beat St. John's again 77-59. It was the third Big East team in that Final Four, though, Villanova, that won the national championship. Now, Ewing, a two-time Big East Player of the Year and a 1985 National Player of the Year, as well as Mullen, the three-time Big East Player of the Year and Wooden Award winner, are back at their respective schools as the head coaches of the Hoyas and Red Storm, respectively. That's why the reunion of St. John's and Georgetown is so highly anticipated heading into 2017-18.